Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a Christmas shop with me at the one and only Flying Tiger. On the day I wasn't actually supposed to film, but I was coincidentally wearing red, so I was like, oh, I have to. So you have this video. Enough of me talking, let's get started. I love walking into a flying tiger because they are so in your face with the seasonal stuff as you walk in and it's almost like receiving a warm welcome hug reminding you of what time of year it is and it's just chef's kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So over here we have this snowman with a removable hat lid. They had something similar to this if not the exact same last year. I will link my Christmas flying tiger video from last year down below. And this one over here also has a removable hat lid, but it is actually made of silicone. Over here we have this classic red Christmas sweater mug. And in the back they have the Santa one, which I prefer because the colors actually continue on the inside and the rim is red, which I think jazzes it up a little bit. Over here is this Christmas plate that's kind of shaped funny, so I wasn't really sure what you could put in there. Over here we have this Christmas Santa mug with a cookie holder. Over here we have these little bowls. I thought it was perfect if you had pets, you know? Like a cute little maybe cat and dog kind of food bowl sort of thing. Yeah. I saw these Santas that actually come with a parachute so you can hang it from a ceiling. And I thought, oh, that's so interesting because we always imagine Santa like landing in his sleigh on a house, but imagine if he parachutes off of his sleigh. Here we have these Christmas napkins, which I thought were great, but I actually found a better one later on. I'll show you. Over here we have these Santa advent calendar things, so you can, you know, put little like bits and gifts in the little slots depending on the day. They also have this DIY advent calendar, which actually only has four slots, I think, so you can put four gifts. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love Christmas ornaments. Last year, I think I made two videos simply dedicated to Christmas ornaments. I will also link those down below, but Flying Tiger does not disappoint. Their selection is wonderful. The price is wonderful. There's like a little bit of sense of humor in their designs, which I appreciate. Over here are their more sort of uh, unique individual ornaments that you can buy for about 350 yen each. And there was a lot to choose from, but I'll show you guys my favorite near the end. They had these last year. They even have gym equipment ornaments, which I thought was fun, and they had Birkenstocks as well. My favorite, well, favorites, I should say, out of all of this was first this Chinese takeout box that came with the chopsticks. How amazing is that? And they had this spaceman that was like flying through the air. Look, it's such a cute little thing. Look at that. And the blue ball is so cute. This one, oh my gosh, it doesn't even have to be Christmas. I love this. I love this flower one. I think it's meant to be like a poppy, maybe. Oh, they also had this container where you can store your baubles because baubles tend to break in storage. How amazing is that? You can store 18 baubles in here. I love the holiday season because I feel like it's a time where you can get really creative with your decorations and particularly with wreaths. I love wreaths like this, um, not to actually put up on doors and stuff, but to actually put in like the center of the table. You know, like when you're eating, if you have a cake stand and you can put the cake stand over like the wreath, it would look really, really cool. Like I'm trying to show you how it would look like. Um, there's no table, so you can't really tell, but I hope you can envision like in your heads. And yes, blah blah blah, Christmas decorations are so much fun, but Christmas also comes with the dilemma of picking a gift for everybody. And my answer to that problem is go to Flying Tiger. Everything's affordable, it's so much fun. There's a little bit of something for everybody, like of any age range really. And you can also get gift wrapping stuff there as well. Um, this time I actually ended up buying a lot of my gift wrapping stuff from Syria because they were having a William Morris collaboration. These cards were only a dollar each. No visit, 
Arctic Flying Tiger is complete without the candle and napkin wall. This is the napkin I mentioned earlier because this one's not tied to Christmas alone. You can also use it for birthday parties, for example. Candlestick holders, I think, make wonderful gifts. And this one, blue one over here, can actually hold the actual candlesticks and the tea lights as well because it's a two-way candle holder. So you can see, I thought that was such a great idea. This lemon one, so cute. Very not Christmassy at all, but I wanted to show you that it comes with the matching pitcher as well as the bowl. And they also had salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, at the store, they only had one, and I know they're supposed to come in pairs, so this was on its lonesome, so. I saw this beautiful decanter at Flying Tiger with the matching cups in the back and I thought, ooh, maybe I can stack it like this, you know, but nope, nope. I soon realized that probably wasn't a good idea, so that's me putting it back. I thought this cocktail maker shaker thing was really nice. Oh, and they had this chicken shaped bowl that came with a large size as well. I thought this perfume bottle was so nice for 300 yen and then for 800 you can get the one with the little like squishy thing. Yep, and another gift idea is this set of like bathroom, toiletry, storage things because it's 1200 yen and you get the pump and the cup as well as the soap dish. It's like down there if you can see it and I just think it's a really nice color. I used to give these beauty boxes out for birthday presents when I was younger because uh, my mom and I knew this store that we lived near at that had such an amazing selection, all different prints and patterns, and oftentimes they came with a mirror on the inside. This one didn't, but I wanted to show you guys. And now I'm thinking I might need to buy a beauty box because I feel like there's a lot of use to them. This was also another gift idea that I thought was really nice, that in their DIY section, they had these paint your own building set. They had it in the houses and these buildings, and this one comes in a set of three. And I thought how nice if you could buy that and be able to paint on it, you know, with friends and family around the tree. I thought that would be a great memory. Oh, this was not in the DIY section, but I thought would make a good DIY project are these little spice holders. I thought if you could go out and collect, I don't know, cute little like pine cones wouldn't fit in there, but you know, like cute little seeds or some kind of dried flowers or whatever and put it in there, that would be a really nice decor. Also, I found these, which I thought would also make cute gifts, these sleeping masks, but I kind of realized they're low-key creepy. Like, what do you guys think? I think it's kind of creepy. Anyways, over here they had something creepier, which was this rabbit that's solar powered and has these big bulbs for eyes. I, I mean, it's a cute concept, but it's kind of scary. Bonus footage! So as I was shopping around, I realized the whole mall was getting Christmassy and I went to Fran Fran because they have the most beautiful selection of ornaments I've ever seen in Japan and their prices tend to be a little bit higher so around like 950 yen I would say like per the ornament but all their stuff is very beautiful very unique and very good quality so I think if you could find like one or two ornaments you like or maybe you could get like one every year and start filling up your tree but they just have a lot of unique stuff so I wanted to show you guys this one I actually thought was a dustpan when I saw it and I was like, oh, that's kind of unique. And then I turned it over. It was not a dustpan. And they have a matching, like a different colored one as well. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so I know to make more of these. And I'll see you in my next one.